hello. Thank you for your interest in the advanced placement courses here at Napomo High School. Um, this brief presentation will give you a couple details about what advanced placement is, what AP is, and some of the courses that we offer here that are under that umbrella. We'll talk a little bit more about the benefits of AP courses, what they could be for your student, and you'll get a better idea and we'll be able to talk with your student um, about what their potential schedule might be next year and if they choose to pursue any AP courses. So what are AP classes? AP classes are college level courses in a wide variety of subjects that can be taken while students are still in high school. College credit can potentially be given if a student takes and passes the AP test in that subject. Simply taking and passing the class does not mean that the student earns AP credit. They must also take and pass the exam that goes with that class. Also, not all colleges accept AP credit. We'll talk a little bit more about what that looks like. So these are all things that should go into your student's decision um, about whether or not to take an AP course. So what are some benefits of AP classes? There are a variety of them. Two of the biggest are to potentially earn college credit and for students to challenge themselves, especially those who may have been identified as gate in elementary and middle school or who feel like school isn't challenging enough or if you're seeing that your student maybe isn't challenged enough and could do with a little bit more of a challenging or rigorous schedule. Um, 2,600 colleges worldwide will grant AP scores and will grant credit at their institutions for um, passing AP scores. So if a student is interested in pursuing college right after high school, it's a good idea to reach out to that college or university early to see if they accept AP credit and what that could do for your student. Um, through the AP program, students are also able to get college experience during high school. AP courses, advanced placement courses, are the equivalent to college courses, which is why students get college credits. Um, they also give, we'll talk a little bit more about it, but they give a grade bump here at the high school. So the students are taking a more rigorous class, but they are also, um, you know, getting things in return, like potentially college credit and a GPA bump. So there are some things to think about when it comes to um, taking an AP course. The courses are significantly more rigorous than the standard college prep courses here, like I kind of said previously. AP classes are college level courses, so they are more accelerated and require a higher level of learning and work um, than the other college prep courses here at Napomo High School. Students can expect five or more hours of homework per week for, it with, for every AP course that they're holding. Now, of course, that's just an average. Some students will have less and some students will realistically have more. Um, it is doable though. We do have students who take pretty much all AP courses. Um, it is a heavy load. They know what they're taking on, but it is possible. Um, overall, students can expect to have more homework. Um, students may also be assigned work over the school breaks, summer break, winter break, and spring break, and that work is expected to be completed when students return to school. Um, sometimes it's reading, it might be practice tests, but these things do happen, and if students do not complete these when they return to school or within the required time, then it does affect their grade. Um, the courses are worth an extra grade point and can boost a student's GPA, kind of like I was saying before, and that's due to the increased rigor and the faster pace that the courses are. Regardless of their score on the AP test, students still get that GPA boost. So that is why some students choose may choose to take an AP course but not take the AP test because they want to get that GPA boost um, for their college applications. A huge consideration is that once a student enrolls in an AP course, they are committed to taking that course the entire school year. We do not switch students out of AP courses at semester. So this is why this is a big decision for students and for families. Um, there are you know, all of these considerations to think about. So we encourage students to reach out to their current teachers in that subject and potentially even the AP teachers in that subject to talk about you know, how they might do in that course. It is hard. We know that it's going to be hard, um, but that doesn't mean that students can switch out. The courses are meant to be challenging. However, we do speak to students beforehand. We ask you to speak to your students beforehand. We're happy to talk all together as a team to help provide guidance to students regarding the course. 
Most of the time, AP courses, especially for freshmen and sophomores, they're unlike anything they've taken before. But if they study hard, if they work with the teacher, if they work with their peers, if they collaborate, and if they ask for help, they will be able to succeed. However, if they don't do these things and they're struggling, then they're going to continue to struggle. So those are just some of the considerations to take, in, to take into consideration, to keep in mind. This is a list of some of the AP courses we have here at NHS. Two things to note. Our pre-AP English 9 and pre-AP English 10 are not full-fledged AP courses. There is no exam that goes with these courses. They also do not enable students to get the GPA boost. They are designed to prepare students for future AP English courses. Secondly, the only AP course that is accessible for ninth graders is AP Biology. The rest of the courses are accessible for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Um, and you can see in parentheses, we have the grade level that the students traditionally take the course. For example, AP World History, World History itself is a 10th grade course. Lit Comp, um, AP Lit Comp is an 11th grade course. AP U.S. History is an 11th grade course. Some of them, such as AP Environmental Science, are accessible for 10th through 11th grade, as are the ones listed below that. Some of our math courses, our science courses, and our advanced language courses, um, students are able to take those um, wherever they fit into their schedule. Usually it's during 11th and 12th grade. Um, a note about AP Biology, um, it is a ninth grade course. Like I said, it is the only, like I said, the only AP course a ninth grader can um, can take. It is a challenging course. Students have not taken anything like it in middle school. So when students come in, oftentimes they come in wide-eyed, they're not expecting it and they want to drop it, you know, a couple weeks into the school year or even a couple weeks after the second semester. Like I said, we don't allow them to do that. So it is vital that you talk to your student about taking that class. And you're going to know, and I'll tell you why, how this conversation can happen um, a little bit more um, naturally, but I will tell you that our teachers who teach the AP content, they've been teaching it for many, many years. They know how to help students succeed. So like I said, as long as students are doing their work, doing their homework, um, following up with their teachers, asking questions, they are able to succeed. So like I said, you will know what your student wants to take because we do have an AP contract that we require to be signed by students and by parents. This is an acknowledgement from both parties um, that they understand the rigors of the AP course. So by signing the contract, students are committing to remaining in the AP course for the entire school year, like I was saying previously, the entire year, not one semester, not one quarter, not three quarters, the entire year. If a student does not turn in their contract by the due date, the student will be moved into a college prep course of the same subject. So for example, if a student wants to sign up for AP Biology, as a ninth grader, but they do not return their contract by the due date, they will be placed in biology or agriculture biology for the school year. Um, if a student wants to take AP World History as a 10th grader and they do not um, return their contract, they will be placed in college prep world history. There are standards outlined within the contract and students will be held by those standards. It's a lot of what I talked about previously, taking the course the entire school year, asking for help, um, you know, just being basically a responsible student and learning a lot of these self-advocacy skills that we've been working so hard to teach our students, especially this year. Our hope is that um, they are held to these standards in the contract at home as well by their families. And we really appreciate you being a part of our team. It's, we can't do it without you. It takes support from all of us to help your students succeed. And part of that support is reminding students that if they make a commitment to something like an AP course, they need to continue that. And they need to try everything possible um, to succeed in that class. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to your student's counselor. Um, I am currently, I'm Ms. Holly, I'm currently the ninth and 10th grade counselor. Mrs. Harase, my counterpart, is currently the 11th and 12th grade counselor, but for this next school year, the 2021-2022 school year, I will be the 10th and 11th grade counselor, and Mrs. Harase will be the 12th grade and 9th grade counselor. So please reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns, and we will be more than happy to have a conversation with you and or with your student to talk about if AP placement is the correct place for your student. 
So as I wrap up, I am going to play this short um, video that explains if a student should take an AP course. It's put out by the Princeton Review, which in conjunction with the College Board, they're kind of the overseeing bodies of the Advanced Placement Program. So if you have any questions or concerns about the AP courses, please contact, like I said, myself or Mrs. Harase so that we can help. So you can see he discussed a couple of other options um, when it, or a couple of other considerations when it comes to the AP course. He talked about that GPA bump. He talked about how it looks on a college application. He talked about saving money because if a student does pass enough AP courses and get enough AP credit, depending on the school, they might be able to go in technically as, let's say, a sophomore or a second semester freshman um, instead of a first semester freshman. So those are all really great things. Um, just kind of wrapping up, like I said, if you have any questions, please contact myself or Mrs. Harase. Um, we will be doing registration within the next couple of weeks with your students. And if we see that a student has an AP class on their plan, if they don't have one already, we will um, send we will send them the contract. So like I said, have keep an eye out for that for you as well. Likely because we are in the time that we are, it will be sent home via um, email. We are still trying to figure out the best way to do that. So please make sure that your contact information, your email, everything is up to date with us. And in Aries, you can go ahead and check in Aries and with Parent Square. That's just good practice anyway. That is the way that we are pushing out the bulk of the information currently. So thank you for the time. Like I said, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Please let Mrs. Rossi know. Oops. Advance. There we go. And um, as always, the Lucia Mar Unified School District prohibits discrimination, intimidation, harassment, including sexual harassment or bullying based on a person's actual or perceived ancestry, color, disability, race or ethnicity, religion, gender, gender expression, gender identity, immigration status, national origin, sex, sexual orientation or association with a person or group with one or more of these actual or perceived characteristics. For questions or complaints, contact Equity Compliance Officer and Title IX Coordinator Jennifer Handy, Assistant Superintendent of HR at 602 Orchard Avenue in Arroyo Grande. 
or 805-474-3300, extension 1190. Thank you so much for your time.